All right. Yeah, I kind of just wanted to show you guys what uh, I did pick up at the um, the War Museum today uh, before I was going um, uh, to attend the uh, the lecture, and it was wonderful when I got to go into the um, the used bookstore. I was the only one in there besides the uh, the person who makes you know that uh, you know runs the shop. So it was amazing. I and I'm going to actually go to the Osprey Books first. They had so many of these Osprey books uh, in just absolute, well, obviously it was a whatever, like an estate thing. They're in absolute pristine shape, all $5 each. They had, well, I think probably every single um, World War I uh, aeronautical Osprey book you can think of. I was just, I just picked up the two uh, ones I thought right off the bat would be the most valuable to me. Um, just absolutely jaw-dropping. Uh, wait until you see some of the pictures. I'm not going to go through it, but I was just like, wow. Look at that. Like, son of a bitch. Uh, I, there's one that's got a question mark. I was like, yeah, I love you to bits. Um, just look at this. It just goes on and on and on. Uh, or maybe it was the Austrian one, the Austro-Hungarian one that had the, uh, I think it did. Maybe say, yeah, and it, this is just the Austro-Hungarian aces. Then they had... Austro-Hungarian aces of specific plane. I was just like, this is nuts. Oh my God. But uh, yeah, look at these. I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, there's a lot of albatrosses there, eh? Holy moly. I want to see if I can find some Halberstots. I know that was, uh, well, I'm sure they would have had a, a Halberstadt. I didn't see any Ottoman books. I was kind of bummed out a bit. Like I said, I got those really happy. This one I picked up at the very end, and I read. I was reading it on the um, on the train home. Um, yeah, it's uh, more of like a strategy thing, or um, just talking about war in general. It was just kind of something. I was like, you know what? I want to pick you up. I just have a good feeling about you. Um, so it's more about you know the strategy type of stuff, like high policy in war. It was yeah. I was like, okay, I'm. I'm you guys have probably seen these types of books a trillion times. Um, uh, as a kid, uh, any type of book like this, uh, the whatever, I just absolutely adored. So I picked you. I picked this guy up. Uh, super duper ultra quick. Freaks me right out too. Is when they do this thing. At first, I didn't clue in what they were doing. Like they're showing you know, the up and down at the same time. Because I was like, oh my god, look at all these cool uh, bicolored planes. I get to do uh, like a bicolored biplane, but no, it's not the case. Um, here's the actual book for the um, the lecture, the Tim Cook. Um, Lecture. I'm not going to get into what I uh, what the actual lecture was about. I'm going to I'm, do, I'm going to do that at the live stream to be honest with you. But uh, there were some uh, eye openers, uh, and it wasn't a very long lecture. It went super quick. I was absolutely stunned how fast it went. Um, like I said, I'll talk about it. I'll I'm going to talk about this one. Um, my God, Penn's like, yeah, I read it. Like it, I was that. I will, okay. I will say this very quickly. You have no. Well, maybe you do. But for me. Uh, I was just absolutely astounded uh, that I got to discuss, um, and I mean, you know what I mean? I just went at it. I didn't, um, I didn't um, rein myself in or whatever. I just was like, these are my opinions about, uh, you know, um, whatever. And uh, it was amazing to um, have somebody uh, answer back where I was um, just, I don't know what to say, really, uh, except that um, their level of authority or knowledge was uh, astounding. That's all I got to say. Absolutely astounding. But uh, it was nice. It was nice. I can do it was nice. That was, uh, oh, no, I did get some other stuff. I did uh, want to, because I, I, I tried to allude to it, in, uh, alluded to this in um, in one of my posts that uh, Charles Latour, thank you, man. And I've got, I'm just trying, uh, there is a section of wall that I have, and it was so weird. I had just, I think pr practically the day before you, uh, I received this in the post, I had actually cleared off a chunk of wall, and I was trying to figure out what to do with it, but I was like, oh, I just need, but I don't know if I want to put it there, because it would mean I'd have to crop some, and I don't want to crop it, but I want to see you every day kind of thing. Um, I picked this up, remember, I got 20% I got off at the, at the, um, at, at the boutique, not the used bookstore. I did pick up another used book, actually, but that's uh, going away as a gift. 
and I don't want to mention it to it because there's a chance one of, one of the viewers will hear it and I don't want that viewer to hear it. It's as simple as that. I picked this up uh, just as something I can go and it looks like it can take a lot of abuse and so I'm just going to stick this like on my coat or something or my backpack or whatever but just always have it as a reminder. And like I said, uh, I got 20% off. There's a couple of other things I purchased, but they're as gifts as well, and uh, so you're not going to see them. Uh, I got this t-shirt. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Um, it was funny. Ben's like, oh, you seem to like t-shirts. Because <laughs> I had one on, and, uh, you know, world where I'm like, yeah, I do, man. And then this sweetie. I don't know if you can see it. It's a Newport 17, I think. But that's a sweetheart. So I'll be wearing, oh, I like that, I like that style blue too, man. That's nice. Anyways, I think that's about it uh, that I did pick up. Uh, it was, you know, it was an eye-opener. Um, it was, uh, I'm going to be doing more of this. I can tell you that much. I'm going to be, uh, I can, yeah, I, I knew it was going to happen anyways. It's, uh, it's inevit inevitable, I guess, when people are, well, myself, I'm like right into something. Um, you're going to find like mines, and uh, or at least I hopefully did. And um, well, like what I do, it's the same thing with the like mines with the gaming. You guys for crying out loud, right? That's it. All right. So I had a I had a bloody darn good time. Um, my mind is uh, chugging away in the background like a mile a minute. Like you know, you know, you know what I mean. There's lots of stuff. I mean, you know, you know, it's the same stuff that goes on in your head. Just. Uh, stuff that's percolating in the background or whatever because it's just so much just just happened and I'm just like well, calm about it though I'm just like just let it go I mean I've got uh, pins he gave me his business card and should have heard his backstory I can't wait to hear some more but that person knows oh my god we got to talk about Rob Robert Heinlein and uh, and you know like I even you know I was it was so nice to talk about the the moon is a harsh mistress with somebody and not have to, you know, I was like, oh, okay, I could, you know, reveal the ending and or just talk about this, that, or the other thing, and I have to, you know, not have to worry about any of that stuff. It was just, oh, it was a, it was a nice feeling, but I wanted to, like, I want to sit down and talk to, to these people about, um, like, the way I did. I just had a little t a tidbit taste of, uh, like, like I was, you know. I just threw out like very quickly. I mean, remember it was about medical stuff and whatnot, but primarily about Canada, obviously. And um, um, you know, and then I I, I just made an, a comment to Penn very quickly about uh, the state of the medical uh, medical um, situation in in Russia. You know, before the war, that it, it was actually quite good, a lot better than most places actually, because they had they had just done a census. Uh, I think like a year earlier, or two years, or something like that earlier. And they were like, whoa, we got to like, you know, revamp things. And they did. Um, anyways, that's, that's a sidetrack. But that's what I mean about I just want to go off and just talk and talk and talk and listen and bounce stuff off. And oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Hope you're having a great time. See you later. Um, yep.